gold, yet again respecting the support at 2030-2028, have seen a stronger recovery and has achieved my next target at 2060-65. Beautifully, it has seen a little retracement from 2065 levels. Yes, we have mentioned several times that beyond 2065, the next target is 2100 plus plus levels. But right now, it appears it is falling shy of that. Likewise, silver has also seen a stronger recovery from 2250-60 levels and has moved towards the next resistance at 2320-2330. Now, what to expect today from gold and silver? How we can profit? What is going to be our strategy today? We will see with the help of charts. And indicators, the NFP data later in the day before the US session definitely will bring volatility. Thus, trade with the stop loss, trade with the trailing stop loss. If you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel to get twice a day update. The next update will be released before the US session. Let's start. And yes, friends, do like, share and comment as well, friends. Your every like, comment and share is a great motivation for me. Let's start first on the early charts. If you look at the early charts, it is still beautifully trading in this channel. We, I, we have drawn this channel. And I have mentioned one thing that it is expanding continuously. See, the moves are getting bigger. You can see the upper moves are getting bigger. While on the downside, one more thing is the support it has seen at 2830. With that a support, see, bigger move again is being seen and it is now consolidating its position. Only selling entry today is now below 2050, 48 levels. Yes, if you see it trading below 2050 and 48, we can expect it to retrace a little towards 20. 44 and rather I will say 2040 40, 42 is going to be the support zone on the downside. Also, if you look at it is finding it resistant to move on the upside. Does any move about 2058? Possibly that should be a good buying point, but let's have a look into detail. Moving average is divergent and bullish, stochastic rising. See on the early charts, MACD has tried to converge here. It has not yet crossed over, it is convergent. Possibility of a crossover exists, which can bring the prices a little lower. RSI flat coming to 2R. Likewise, on the 2R chart, see, yes, there was a push from the upside. Prices failed to stay outside Bollinger Bands. Now it is consolidating its position, waiting for the moving average to climb up. Uh, 48, 50 should be a very, very good support, below which you can expect more bearishness. Stochastic dropping, MACD is trying to converge a bit. RSI almost flat. And on the 3R, now on the 3 RHRC, since it has formed a flat bottom and from this flat bottom, if you just connect the dots, you'll find this is an expanding triangle. This is increasing bullishness here. Where is the bottom? Again, uh, very much lower levels, 28, 32 zone, 2028, 20, 2032 zone is where the support is. And yes, the we have also seen the bigger the move, the stronger the drop. The bigger the move, the stronger the drop. The bigger the move, can it give a stronger? We have to wait for that. But yes. If you see it is staying below 2050, 2048 zone, possibly we can take a, uh, or initiate a selling entry for a little drop on the downside where one can look forward to 20, 40, 42 as a very, very good support here. If you look at the stock stochastic, this is trying to look down. MACD is still bullish. RSI is flat. Coming to 4 hours. Likewise, on the 4 hour charts, it preceding two candle higher highs, lower lows. This candle again trying to turn red. Possibility for it to move a little down exists. But again, as I said, 2050, 2048 zone is something you should watch out for. Also, the 20 period moving average right now sitting at 2044. Yes, that could be also one of the support zones, but I'll be largely looking forward to 2040, 42 if it trades bearish from the current levels. A stock has taken rising, MACD bullish, RSI flat coming to daily. Now, before we look into daily charts and I give you the trading levels and strategy, if you want to learn this art of trading, be a part of my 28th, 29th mentorship batch. 28th has commenced this week itself. Book your seats now. Reach out to me for more details. Also, you can be part of my signals channel. Trading as per the signals, you can definitely benefit. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. And you can join the free telegram channel for live updates as visit the platform forexfunda.com, which is my own platform. There, besides all the data relevant to trading available, there also the community of traders is there. And also, you can book a call with me if you need any consultation or guidance. Now, look at the daily. See, one thing I have mentioned several times in my preceding analysis. See, this was the flag formation and it is trading outside the flag, which is certainly a bullish breakout confirmation. Now, see, when it gives a breakout, it obviously continues for a while. But right now, it has to stay 2060-65 zone. I have mentioned this several times in my preceding update and I am highlighting this again. That 2060-2065 is the zone it needs to break. 
in order to confirm a breakout and where we could look forward to the next target at around 2100 but before that 2085 should be first resistance then 2100 2100 20 i will be looking at there is a possibility but right now it is very much hesitant of 2065 levels we have seen it reversing precisely from 2065 that is the beauty of levels now if you look at today's candle you will also see three candles with flat bottom increasing body size higher highs now higher highs means the next target should be somewhere here at around 2072 that could be first or uh, resistance which it could try to achieve but yes only buying entry is about 2058 levels after which we can look forward to 2062.5 2065 as the first resistance zone and then i will look forward to 2071.5 2072.5 as the next resistance zone yes it could continuously deliver increasing body size but uh, we have to wait because if four bullish candles are seen and increasing body size is seen possibility of a reversal also exists with the data we have to see both the sides of the data we have to look at both the opportunities here and if it trades below 2030 that is the point of time only where we can confirm that it is turning bearish else there is a possibility of a little retracement 2040 2042 which was a uh, good resistance earlier is now going to be the support we have to be watchful of that levels and then ultimately 2030 is there so sell at 2040 rather 2050 48 levels and buy at 2058 60 levels take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at silver silver on the early chart see forming lower highs see it is forming lower highs lower lows it has to now break below 20 beyond 23 20 23 30 zone if it does show a rise above 23 30 possibly more bullish momentum may prevail which can uh, where i will be looking forward to 23 50 60 as the first resistance i have always been sharing the same levels and it is going to abide by the same levels now you can buy 23 20 where the lower prices are about 23 20 but then be careful first 23 30 then around 50 60 so if you look at the stock i stick rising from the bottom MACD is trying to converge a bit it has not yet crossed over rsi almost staying flat on the two hour charts likewise on the two hour charts see it has breached or broken this bearish channel it is trying to reverse here also look at the candle here three red candles now once it trades beyond 2320 one can look forward to more rise towards 2340 2360 zone there is a possibility to it see silver since last multiple weeks and days have been trading in a modest zone we have to wait for a breakout a stock elastic looking down macd is divergent and bullish rsi is flat coming to 3 hour chart now on the 3 hour charts one must note lower highs are seen thus once it breaks below 23 uh, i will say 2305 2295 is the zone it might get a good support and if it trades below this zone you can see a further drop towards 2280 2260 levels stochastic overbought macd has just crossed over trading with divergence trading bullish looking upwards rsi flat coming to 4 hour chart likewise on the 4 hour chart see lower highs are seen lower lows are seen we have to wait for it to break 2305 and 2295 zone this is the support zone it needs to break in order to confirm further drop towards 2280 2260 yes you can but as i shared yesterday and I, as i have shared every time uh first resistance zone at 2270 to 80 and then 2240 50 these are the two support zones on the downside uh we have to be careful of those levels yes it can bounce back again it can reverse and a breakout is what you should look forward to a breakout about 2330 is certainly a bullish indication a stock elastic overbought macd is trying to converge crossover again rsi is staying flat coming to daily now on the daily charts look at the movement see it is still after the reversal sign remember lower highs lower lows either it could give a breakout which i will be waiting for if it gives a breakout it is going to be a good bullish move we will look forward to this zone here at 22 2350 2360 and once it breaks out beyond 2360 is going to be a reversal confirmation where the prices are going to rally also it is forming this channel here the highs could be uh 2380 as well but yes a reversal confirmation is only about 24 20 24 50 levels right now what it is trying to do it has shown a very good pullback yesterday forming a bigger tail thus it could continue with the momentum again we have to watch out for 23 20 23 30 zone for the breakout stock elastic has dropped a bit macd has crossed over at the bottom trading with divergence and bullishness rsi is flat 
considering this i will recommend you to buy here at 2320 levels and sell at 2305 levels for this 15 cents do not trade if you are taking a buy on the upside be careful for first 2340 levels 2330 2340 rather uh, as long as 2360 is not breached you have to be trading with a trailing stop loss strictly 10 cents trailing stop loss on the downside selling at 2305 remember 2290 2280 first support zone and in fact as long as 22 50 40 is respected we have to just put a 10 cents see this 100 uh, 1 dollar move between 2350 to 2250 is what we have seen it swinging in between it has to give a breakout out of these levels right now it appears it is falling shy of and as long as it stays between this zone you have to strictly put a 10 cents trailing stop loss take your positions accordingly see you again before the us session do like share and comment join my mentorship batch webinar series or signals channel reach out to me join my free telegram channel or visit the platform forexfunda.com thank you very much